Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 896, monotonic array. So an array is monotonic if it is either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing. An array nums is monotone increasing if all i is less than or equal to j. So nums i is less than or equal to nums j. An array nums is monotone decreasing if all i is less than or equal to j. Nums i is greater than or equal to nums j. So given an integer array nums, return true if the given array is monotonic or false otherwise. So pretty self-explanatory question. We just need to return true if the nums array that we're provided with in the example is always increasing or always decreasing. Otherwise, we just return false. Okay, so there are two methods to solving this. We can have a two-pass approach where we utilize the left and right pointer. So we have a two-pointer technique and we loop through this array, this nums array, and we check whether nums at left is less than or equal to nums at right. Yes, it is. So we increment. So left goes here, right goes here. Now is nums at left less than nums at right? No, it's not. It's equal to, right? So we have to do the comparison of less than or equal to in this case. And then we go all the way up to the end. So where right is less than nums.length. So that's carrying this out for increasing values. But we also need to do another while loop to check if it's always decreasing. And then we can just return true if one of those while loops returns a positive answer. So the second approach is a one pass solution. So we're only going to loop through the nums array once and we're going to have two flags. So we're going to have increasing. It's going to be set to true. Decreasing is also going to be set to true. So we're going to loop through here. And if this value is greater than this value, then we're going to turn increasing to false. However, that's not the case in this scenario. So if this value is less than this value, then decreasing will be set to false. And the whole idea of this is, is that if it's increasing throughout, this will stay true. However, if we had say one here, it's going to decrease and that's going to change true to false in this case. And we need to return increasing or decreasing. So we need to return if increasing is true or decreasing is true. And if it's always increasing, increasing will always stay at true. If it's always decreasing, decreasing will always stay true. So time complexity for both of the algorithms explained is ON. Even with the two pass, we're looping through the nums array twice. So it's going to be 2N, but that simplifies to ON. With the one pass, it's just going to be ON. And then space is going to be O of 1, constant space. So let's write those two solutions out. Okay, so the two pass solution, we're going to have a function called increase, which is going to take in nums. And then we're going to have a left and right pointer. So let left equal zero, right is equal to one, while right is less than nums.length. If nums at left is greater than nums at right, we return false. And then we increment the left and right pointer. So if at any point in time, the left value is greater, strictly greater than nums at right, we can return false, else we're going to return true. And then we need to duplicate that, call this decrease. And then while nums at left is strictly less than nums at right, because this function is decrease, if nums at left is less than nums at right, that is inherently increasing. So we return false here, otherwise we return true. And then within our main function, we are just going to return increase nums or decrease nums. Give that a go. Submit it. Okay, so that's worked. So let's carry out the one pass now. So with the one pass solution, we said we'd need two flags, which is increasing and decreasing which are both going to be set to true. Then we need to loop through. I is less than nums.length minus one. We're going to minus one here because we are comparing two values with each other. And if we do just nums.length, one of the values is going to be out of bounds towards the end of the nums array. So we say minus one. 
Now, if numza i is strictly greater than numza i plus one, then we are decreasing throughout this numza array. So we can set increasing to false. If numza i is less than numza i plus one, then we're increasing throughout the nums array. So we can set decreasing to false. And then we need to return increasing or decreasing. So one of these, if it is monotonic in nature, is going to be true. So let's run this. Submit it. And there you go.